shame on me. Yeah, I got hearts. Hey guys, I'm welcome back to my channel and you're just seeing me and today I've got a little bit of a story time for you. It's quite a juicy one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is sponsored by West Kiss Hair. They wanted me to show you guys this body wave or wig. It comes already made and I will put all the links to this hair in the description box and I'll flash the details that you need to know about it on the screen. This is my first time wearing it. You guys will know that I was ginger pretty much up till now as ginger for the last three weeks and now i've gone back to black and i've gone back to body wave so i don't have those tight curls that i had before and i'm loving it so it's my first time laying the hair and i did feel like i had to do quite a bit of customizing it did come pre-plucked which i always appreciate thank you and it came with baby hairs in place but as usual i always trim them down now the one thing that i say is very unique about this hair that they sent me is that i ordered the six by six um frontal so I think I'd seen Nella talk about it and I'd never heard of this 6x6 thing before. So when it came out, I was like, oh, that's interesting. So basically what it is, is that the lace starts from about here to here and then this bit isn't lace. The rest of this hair isn't lace. It's kind of like a fabric that the hair's been attached to. And what that means is that you don't lay this bit down with got to be glue. So I laid all of this down with got to be glued, but where your edges are, you basically do not lay it down. So if you're protecting or regrowing your edges, this is probably the perfect type of wig. So my edges on this side are fully grown back. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But on this side, it's still a bit of a struggle. So this is quite good because all I've really done here is I put some baby hairs down and I think I did my baby hairs down as well and I just used quite a bit of mousse and you know you can like let the wind blow you're still gonna be cute you're still gonna be all right and then I laid the rest of it and just laid my baby hair down with um, a bit of mousse as well so it came out looking really good but what I've kind of decided is like at the bottom you can see that the curls go um, quite a bit smaller the waves go quite a bit smaller but I love the waves at the top from like here to here they're quite big they're bouncy they're full so what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten the bottom and recurl it and try and match the wave and the fullness that is at the top and give that you know Kim Kardashian-esque type of vibe what I also did as well with the hair is that I did trim it and put some layers in there so that's a bit shorter that's a bit shorter and it just like frames your face and makes you look cute and whatnot so yes i'm loving the way it looks i feel like i'm looking quite good as well because your girl did her makeup and you know she's an mua now she is a makeup artist guys who was rocking with me two years ago and like i used to get dragged all the time for my makeup look at me now sis look at me now so I will be just be styling the hair in this video and talking to you guys about one of my subscribers who tried to expose your girl's sugar daddy. Honey, pshh. Okay, and I'll be dropping some receipts as well for you guys. You can find um, the direct link to this hair in my description box and they've given me quite a few codes to get you some money off as well. So that will be there as well. I mean, the hair looks good. There's no denying it. And this 6x6 frontal thing, I quite like it. I quite like it. So this story time, ha 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 ha. I wasn't sure if I would do it, but I just thought, you know what, it's funny. Hopefully, you know, you guys won't take it too seriously. You laugh about it. So back in, I've got the emails on my phone. So let me just pull them up. Back in December, shortly after Christmas. I don't know what this person was going through around Christmas time that they had all that time to be worried about me, but yeah, back in Christmas time, I think the first email I got was the 28th of December. Someone called Kevin reached out to me. Oh my God, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Reached out to me via email, to my business email. And I'll just read it for you guys, but I'll put the email on the screen as well. And they said, um, titled, subject titled, question. And they said, hi, I was wondering if you have a GoFundMe or wish list or sugar daddy or sugar baby page as I'm a big fan of your Instagram and your YouTube and I would love to spoil and contribute to your beauty if not keep doing what you're doing you're amazing ah, so your girl saw this and you're like I was like oh 
thank you somebody wants to contribute to my beauty i'm like, okay but i'm not gonna lie to you like i smell a big fat fish because i'm like how do you go from what did they say do you have a gofundme or a wish list or a sugar baby page like i just don't think those things correlate like a gofundme yeah maybe i don't know what i'd be gofunding me or, you know but then the sugar baby i just didn't think i was like whoa gofundme wishes okay but where did the sugar baby part come from so i was kind of like hmm this sounds a little bit fishy but maybe just maybe mr kevin wants to like gift your girl you know and support her beauty like he says maybe this is legit maybe i'm about to get you know taken care of you know so my response was hi kevin oh that's so sweet and i wouldn't lie to you i was suspicious so like you know mama ain't raised no fool unfortunately for some people who be really trying to try me thinking i'm dumb i'm dumb so i just responded and i was like hi kevin oh that's so sweet thank you i have a patreon page where people who wish to can make donations to support my channel it means a lot now i do have a patreon page i think i've had it for the last two years i've never posted about my patreon page anywhere i've never advertised it i've never put it anywhere in fact i don't even think i finished feeling it out at all but when mr kevin says he wants to support the channel and the good work that i do because he's a fan i was like oh let me go let me go finish my patreon page let me go you know give him something but you know back in my mind i'm like this motherfucker think they try me but maybe lord jesus she's trying to bless me let me not let me not look a gift horse in the mouth so i went and i finished off my patreon page and i was like here you go if you really want to support me this is all I have, obviously, <laughs> your girl don't have a sugar daddy page, but if she did, she wouldn't, how are you going to ask for, I don't even know, do sugar, sugar babies have a sugar baby page where, honestly, I don't know, I, I didn't realise that's how it worked, where sugar babies have a page where people can just send them money, but hey, I don't actually know, so maybe it is. So that was my response, and Kevin came back, and Kevin says, if that ever changes, please tell me as I'd be happy to do that for anything you like. I said, ah, anything I like. Kevin really wants to take care of me, you know. Kevin about to spoil me, fly me out, buy me Louis Vuitton. Thanks, Kevin. Anything you like, but I would definitely become a Patreon member. I told my sister, I'm like, look here, this idiot thinks they're really going expose me they really be trying to find out where i get my money from i just like mm, okay so basically i ain't got a sugar daddy page but you would definitely go find my patreon okay so this was december 28th december 29th did i see any money in my patreon accounts december 30th a little new year's present for me was there anything? No, we came into 2019 without our sponsorship from Kevin. January went by, nothing from Kevin. I thought, but Kevin, Kevin, you said that you're a big fan and you'd like to spoil and contribute to my beauty. You know, beauty is expensive. You know, hair is expensive. Fenty is expensive. Kevin, what happened? You wanted to donate, Kevin. February came by, Kevin ain't put no deposit, I ain't been flown nowhere, I'm like, what? Oh, that looks good, guys. How, oh, let me just do this bit here, curl that in. So, up till now, four months later, has your girl received her donation from Mr. Kevin? Nope, nope, nope. My blessing did not arrive. And let me just read you the... email the email says the email address is okay i can't actually read it to you just so nobody tries emailing this person but it's a whole legitimate email that matches up with that name you know and i'm sorry to say but men don't really have time like that to be doing that obviously this person did not have genuine intentions they probably thought she's living a lifestyle we don't know how she's getting her money there must be a man behind it there must be a sponsorship i'm gonna create a fake name a fake email address and i'm going to try and find out and expose 
how she's really funding her lifestyle and do I think that this is actually a man that's doing this? No, because men don't have time for this. It's always women. It's always women that be trying you and, you know, going above and beyond to do the absolute most. So Kevin never deposited anything to my Patreon. That's okay. I'm going to keep living my best life without you, Kevin. You know, but it did kind of just like make me laugh a little bit because you know I do joke about especially on my Instagram about sugar daddies like oh I'm ready to be a sugar baby now or but then I, when I realized that people actually were taking it seriously I started changing those jokey posts to posts like no I'm the sugar and I'm the daddy like I have traveled so many places on my channel you guys have come with me to Kos, to Athens, to Paris, to Lyon, you've come with me to Barcelona, you've come with me to Palma de Mallorca, to Valencia, we've gone to Abuja, we've gone to Lagos, we've gone to Koh Samui, Phuket, Bangkok, Bali, we've gone to Copenhagen, we've gone to Amsterdam, we've gone to Seoul, like we have gone to a lot of places on my channel and have any of you ever seen any old man just like lurking in the background you know any fat old i don't even know what sugar daddy's really be looking like but have you ever seen any random unexplained man hanging about no what kind of sugar daddy is flying me out to all these places and he ain't trying to come along and enjoy what he's paying for you know i'm not like taking pictures and posting them on instagram when i'm there i'm actually videoing you know i'm not like oh oh sugar daddy please go hide in the shower curtain <laughs> so i can take my picture and post it or shoot my video no it's just me i fund my lifestyle through hard work through brains you know to th through thinking outside the box through different investments to you know working on my brand i fund my lifestyle and it's a little bit annoying because i feel like if i was a man no one would ever think, oh yeah, she's got a sugar daddy because men are expected to have money and do well. But if a woman's doing well, well then there must be a man behind it sponsoring her lifestyle. Like she can't really have her coin together that well. She must have somebody that's paying for the Chanel bags or the Louis Vuitton bags. No, when I went to Chanel in Lyon, you guys saw me go in there. You guys saw me bring out my credit card was actually my debit card thank you jesus you guys saw me pull out my card and pay for that ish myself you know because i'm a boss and i'm gonna keep being a boss look i'm not judging anybody who's got a sugar daddy because i know a lot of us have slept with useless men for free so if anybody wants to sleep with a useless man for money i'm really not gonna judge you i just know it's not really something that i see myself doing like i'd happily sleep with a rich man but it needs to be because we're in a relationship we're committed to each other and not because you know he's paying me for sex it's just not something that i personally would do so if you had questions you came here today thinking you're gonna find out about how i fund my lifestyle chad is all me i'm the sugar and i'm the daddy Oh, and another subscriber as well. I think it's a subscriber. I don't know if I'll be able to find this. But um, this group of people that have a podcast, they reached out to me. And I've never, like, done a podcast. But I keep thinking it'd be quite cool to get into. So when I got the email to my business email, it was only a few weeks ago, this one. I was like, oh, this is quite interesting. They want to get me on to talk about my viewpoints and have a chat. And then they said that the topic of the conversation was going to be sugar daddies. I said, eh. Hey, how are you going to bring me that I have zero experience <laughs> to talk about sugar daddies? Like, where, where did you find my name? Where did you find my name to bring me as a guest for this topic? What can I contribute, huh? What can, please, people, leave me alone. Don't go and discredit my good name out here. Everything I have, I bought myself. I have the receipts. It's all in my name. Thank you, Jesus. You know, one day maybe I will get flued out and I will get designer bags from a man. But that will be a partner. That will be my husband. I think the most expensive item a man has ever given me was a ring. My first boyfriend gave me a £130 ring. Until today, over a decade later, that is still the most expensive item a guy has given got me like yes i've had guys like pay for holidays like you know i bought my ticket to go 
but you know they paid for dinners they paid for hotels i say they there's only one man you know the rest of it i had to pay for all by myself there's only one guy ricardo when we went to palma de mallorca you know he took care of everything so that's the only time your girl is like i'm so transparent about my money and how i make it and my lifestyle so i don't get what people think i'm doing low-key undercover ish you know, I work hard, I create my content, I've got a job, well I had a job, you know, working corporate for years, you know, I bought my house at 25, all in my name, because I had a very good career, so, you know, don't get it twisted, women can have their own money and they can live a good lifestyle all by their damn self. So, that's my little story time, Kevin, God will punish you, <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, but Kevin, if you thought you was going to come for me and like expose me, sis, your girl's smarter than that, you know, I would never have fallen for that, even if I did have a sugar daddy, I would never have been like, oh, this is my sugar baby page and expose myself, I wasn't born yesterday, Kevin, um, and to the other guys that want me to come on your podcast, if it's just a case where you want me to talk about my opinion on it, because as I said, I don't judge anybody, I'm down, you want to be a sugar baby, that's cool, but if you think you're inviting me on because i've got some kind of insider knowledge i don't i'm sorry i don't i don't know anybody i don't know any daddies i ain't got no daddies apart from my daddy and to be fair my dad is quite well off so i feel like if i needed money that bad i would go ask him first you know i haven't had to ask my dad for money in years thank you jesus but i would start there that's the first daddy i would go to <laughs> before i started pimping myself out like that okay guys so the hair is done i will just brush it out no i'll put my fingers through it so you can see that the curls now at the bottom match up more with the curls at the top they're not the small little waves that were there before and it just looks good doesn't it it looks really good yes 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 so let me go let me know you guys thoughts on the sugar daddy story i just told and like subscribers showing the like i don't know find out when I get my money are you guys offended that people think that women can't have their own shit together I am very offended by that actually so why is that why does a successful woman who's doing financially well have to have a man or be assumed to have a man that's actually paying for it behind the scenes I don't know this video like give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe before you go and don't forget that you guys can find out more about this hair it's linked in my description box thank you so much again to west kids hair i love it on this link this weather would just perk up a little bit i could take my fun ass outside but nope it's miserable anyways i'll catch you guys in the next one i mean just the new you can i remember then when we done it also for the street they just pop open like that i just i just did in the open how people think i'm a sugar baby no retreat, no surrender. I wanna the rules of the game.